Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're doing well today. I have a quick tip on animation today, and this is a bit of a beginner tutorial, but um, a lot of people don't think about animating your camera this way, and it's a, it's a good thing to keep your brain spinning on different ways to use your camera. And this is actually gonna give you some cool results without any keyframes, which is pretty cool. All right, so we have our scene, and we have a cannonball shooting from one ship to the next. And let's say that we want to have a really nice animation following that, that cannonball. Well, this is pretty obvious, but let me just go ahead and walk you through it. We're going to throw in a camera, turn it on, and uh, we're going to find that animating object in our scene, which is this sphere right here, and we're going to drag the camera into that sphere. And then it's going to inherit the animation of that sphere. So then all we have to do is click on the sphere. We're going to hit S, which will frame up the camera on top of that object. And then we can just kind of uh, rotate around that guy and find a nice angle. So something like this. And then if we go to the beginning and hit play, you can see that we're having a really nice animation. And that was just a couple clicks. So we have no keyframes on the camera, and yet we're getting a really interesting animation. And it's really easy to customize this just with a couple keyframes. If we want to go to the beginning, click on your camera and add one keyframe, and then go to the end, uh, we can just you know rotate around it or do something like this, and maybe change the angle a bit, hit a keyframe, and then we're gonna get some uh, different supplemental animation on the camera. So then it'll give it a little bit more of a dynamic look. So just with a couple keyframes, you can modify that. If you want to go to the beginning of it and maybe change the angle, maybe have the camera leg behind a little bit, something like this, and then put a keyframe in the middle of the uh, camera animation. Go ahead and click a keyframe, and now we have something like this. So it's pretty easy to, uh, to modify the camera with just a couple keyframes as well if you want to kind of tweak it a little bit. But the point is you can just take your camera, put it in the object that's animating, and you're gonna get some really cool animations. So let me show you a couple other examples. Um, this one, we have a camera in the scene. The scene's kind of boring, we just have a little robot arm. But if we take the camera and we put it inside the uh, joint goal that's animating, then we're gonna get a camera move that follows uh, the robot arm around. Same with this other example, we have this robot um, picking up a cardboard box and putting it down the chute. So let's check this out. So it's kind of cool, but uh, if we take the camera and we put it inside that robot arm and put it overhead, then we're going to get something like this, which is uh, a pretty cool dynamic animation. And there's no keyframes at all on this camera. Um, but let's say that we don't like this one resting spot. It's pretty easy. Just click on your camera. Go to that one spot that you don't like. You can go ahead and mess around with that one. Maybe change the angle to something like that. And then let's put another keyframe right here. And let's zoom the camera down. And then the result will be something like this, which is a really cool dynamic camera move, uh, which is really, really simple to set up. That's it for me. I hope that this uh, gave you some ideas. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.